Hey, it's Frank from 40 Honeybee, and today is an important day. I'm going to install these two nuke boxes, which are actually splits that I took from that hive. Uh, quick introduction, the wooden box is a five frame split. The plastic box is a four, four frame split. I showed up to that hive two weeks ago, and it had no less than 10, 11 swarm cells in it. I'll get back to that in a, in a different video, but I took two swarm cells a piece, grafted them into these hives, and it's been two weeks, so that should be enough time for a queen to emerge, have its mating flight, come back and be laying. So we're gonna hive them and find out if they have queens or if they're queenless, and then go from there. So thanks for joining me at 40 Honeybee. Okay, so we got the smoker going. I actually filled it with, uh, with leaves from my garlic plants so it hmm it kind of hmm, it smells like garlic i hope the bees like the smell of garlic or maybe i hope they don't like the smell of garlic it smells great all right so i'm gonna do this gray one first i'm just gonna bring it sit it on top of this lid here and then move the frames over one by one and see how she goes I am going to block the entrances as well. Not block the entrances, but reduce the entrances with this entrance reducer. Just think it's always a good idea to reduce hive entrances when you're introducing bees into a new larger setting. So in this frame, or sorry, in this box, there's a lot of bees for this box. Oh my gosh, look at that tape. Holy smoke, I'm actually tearing the wood off. Look at that. This tape, I'll tell you. Tuck tape is the best thing in the world and the worst thing in the world. Depends on whether it's your friend or not. Now this hive had good activity at the beginning, then not much activity, and then it got back just in the last few days to having pretty good activity. And I'm just talking about action at the entrance, you know? It's not always indicative of, of hive health or anything like that, but it's something I always like to look at. It can be indicative. It cannot be indicative too. Okay, so I'm just gonna move them over to here. them into their new home now. We'll move a couple of frames here. Put them on standby. I think I've got a couple drawn out frames as well. Maybe after all this is over I might add some drawn out frames. See the, see the uh, it'll take long for, uh, for earwigs to infest everything here. It's been problematic but hopefully the bees will deal with it. All right let's see what we got now. Looking for a home run here. I'd be satisfied with a ground rule double. Okay. Well, right off the bat, you can see he really haven't done much developing at all on these two frames. There's just three frames of bees in here, which is what I put in, but it's all it's been two weeks, so who knows? Let's start with I'll take this frame out. Not expecting much on this outside frame. And they've done some drying out on it. There's full of nectar. Obviously looking for a queen everywhere. Not gonna be anything on this side, see? All right, frame number one. Frame number two. For the very outside frame, that might be a not terrible sign. Well, frame number two, on the inside of that frame, there's nothing. On the outside, they're drawing it out. So, okay, whatever. Let's go to the next frame. Now, things should be getting interesting. Lots of bees on the inside of this frame. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We've got a frame full of nectar. Full of nectar. 
And of course, we're looking for a queen. You can see there was. Yeah, this was where the queen cells were. So you can see the indentations. One over here, one up there. For now, I don't see a queen and I don't see any sign of a queen. Just nectar. And here, this is a beautiful frame for laying. They've got nectar on the outside. You see it? Nectar all around the outside at the top. It's now the bottom. And then beautiful empty frames. On the inside, nothing in them though. I mean, they're not acting queenless. They're certainly not aggressive. There's no roar or anything, but who knows? Let's see, look at how quiet these bees are. Nice, nice bees. Okay, next two frames are gonna tell the story. Will I be crying or will I be laughing? Oh, there's a big queen, look at her. There she is, right there, big, beautiful queen. So they have definitely made a queen. She's definitely big. Now I'm gonna keep her over the frame, over the box here. And I'm seeing some eggs and I'm seeing larvae. Yes, guy. This is a success. Okay, let's get this back in. All right. One hive is Queen Wright. Let's see what's going on in this frame here. She was big and fat and beautiful. Oh, this frame is really heavy and heavy with honey on the outside. Wow, this frame is really heavy. Let's see what we got here. It's all nectar and bee bread. Okay, so we've got a queen. She's got room to lay. They've got room to expand. So I'm just gonna leave this hive just as it is. Consider it a successful split. And Bob's your uncle. All right, that's one down. Let's get to the next one now. Okay, so far so good. We've got one nuke, one split that has made a new queen. Now we're gonna check on this one. This one has had fantastic activity in the last week or so. So split it two weeks ago, grafted two queen cells into it. And now we just need to see if the queens have mated Emerged, mated, returned, laying. Okay, we got a lot of bees. More bees than in the previous split, but again, we're not so much looking at numbers here, we're looking for a queen. So let's look for a queen in this lid here. See her? We'll drop these bees in a sec. Okay, again, good number of bees in here. And they are very active. Wow, that looks great. Looks great for bee numbers. Let's see what we've got on this frame. Wow, just look at how silent they are. They don't even move. It's just amazing. And is that the queen there? No, nope, that's a drone. Big fat drone. It looks like they've got just nectar in this frame. It's hard to tell because they're not moving much and they're happy, so I don't really want to move them much. Good number of drones. Drones is always a sign of a healthy hive. And this is a perfect example. We need we split this hive on an emergency basis. And the only way for it to work was for the drones to be able to mate the new queen. So you always got to have drones on standby to mate. Kind of like me, actually. I'm kind of a drone. 
a merry drone. Okay, these are very still. Hard to see a queen, but I don't see queen movement in there. Usually the queen is not standing still. Usually the queen, even if it's a, a big packed frame like that, usually the queen is moving around in a queenly fashion. I don't see her there. Okay. Lots of bees. Okay. Here we've got a nice wide open frame. Much more moving on this frame as you can tell, eh? As compared to the others. There's the queen right there. Oh, is that the queen? Yeah, that's the queen right there. Oh, she's very thin and very skinny and small. See her right there? Moving down. No. Is that a queen or isn't that the queen? Oh, maybe that's not the queen. There she is. No. I'm going to say that's not the queen. Okay, let's keep looking. Look like a queen. Long and skinny. Her abdomen went way past her wings, but... I don't think that's queen. Some bee dancing going on. I don't see any... eggs or larva in that frame. On that side anyway, let's see what's going on over here. Wow, jam packed with bees. I don't see a queen. Just a bit of nectar in these frames, but not much more. Almost squished a bee there. Okay, so I pretty much think she's got to be on this frame. Nice heavy one. Let's see what we got. Big drones. Nothing in these either. Okay, what do we got over here? Just blowing on the bees a little bit, and that kind of parts the seas of bees. I mean, they're definitely cleaning and polishing these frames out and not filling them up with nectar. But I don't see a queen, and I don't see any signs of laying. Okay, last frame, and it only has action on one side, so it's not likely that I'm going to see a queen on this side, but you never know. Just drawing out. Big drone. <laughs> Don't see the queen here, do you? I'm gonna look back at that first frame. Was it the first frame or the second frame where I thought I saw the queen? 
I don't know. Let's check it out. Maybe we'll check out the first two. See a queen here. Wow. Turn them over and they just kind of slide down the frame like they're going to fall off it. Just look at this one a little bit longer. Take one more look at this frame, and then I'll close them up. I mean, they're certainly acting fine. There's no roar, and there's no... I keep hearing piping, actually. Yeah, I'm hearing piping coming from my right, not on the frame at all. Oh, there's, there, is that the queen? Oh, she just flew away. Fuck, <laughs> that was the queen, she just flew away. Um, I thought I saw the queen right there. Yeah, right on the top of this frame and she flew away. And I was hearing piping to my right. Okay, well. This situation is not going to get better by me having this hive open any longer. So time to close it up. And for this one, I'm not going to take any action on it. I'm going to give it another week and see if indeed that was the queen that I saw that just happened to fly away. I was hearing piping coming out from over here. So I'm just going to check this lid again. Make sure there's no queen here. I don't see a queen here. I'm definitely hearing piping to my right. Let's look in the box here. Got all the bees out of it. Leave these up front here. All right, so we will two, four, six, eight, ten. We will conclude this video and agree not to take any action on this hive until next week because it likely did have a queen in there. Maybe, maybe she's not made it. Maybe that's why she flew away there. But just going to give them one more week. What the heck? No, that's not the okay, I'm just going to put an entrance reducer at the front here. I should have done that first. Sorry, guys. Move back a bit, move back a bit. Okay, there you go. Just to make it easier for them to defend. So, 
So that's it for this video. Got one hive with a queen, right? One hive, possibly not with a queen, but we're gonna let it go another week. Thanks for joining me at 40 Honeybee.